All right, and so now we have the corollary, corollary to the triangle exterior angle theorem. And remember that theorem, the regular theorem, said that um, the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to the measure of angle three. So that was the original. The corollary says the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of each of the remote interior angles. So basically, they're just saying that the measure of angle three has to be greater than the measure of angle one, and the measure of angle three also has to be greater than the measure of angle two. So I think it's pretty much common sensey, right? Because if the measure of angle one is greater than the measure of angle three, then this whole sum would be greater than the measure of angle three. And that's not what our original theorem says. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at this problem. You can talk with the friends in the class. I don't care. And I want you to write up an explanation that tells me why you think that the measure of angle two is greater than the measure of angle three. Okay. And then you're going to do an activity, um, basically a little board where you're going to put what you think in your explanation with your name on it um, on this little message board. And then I will explain after you've done that. Okay. All right, let's take a look at these triangles. Here's angle three, and here is one, um, angle two. So we need to decide why angle two is greater than the measure of angle three. So if I take a look at this triangle right here, okay, angle one is a remote exterior angle, right? In the last corollary, we said that measure of angle one has to be greater than the measure of angle three, okay? Here, remember that these markings mean that those sides are congruent. And I told you that one of the corollaries or one of the implications from the first theorem that we did is that if these sides are congruent, the sides opposite them are also gonna be congruent. So that means that the measure of angle one is congruent to the measure of angle two. So that means we can substitute it in here so that the measure of angle two would be greater than the measure of angle three.